Hey guys, it's Saturday, um, December 3rd. Today's going to be a six count, 20 minute session. Um, first objective is to hold 12 minutes at 12 reps a minute. Uh, that's one up than last time. Um, and if at all possible, I might see if I can hold it a bit longer. Um, <coughs> this may not be a PR session or attempt. Um, my last six count session was on Thursday and I hit 235, which is one rep below my best. Um, I managed to get 13 reps for the first minute, hold for 12, up until 11 minutes, hold 11, until the very last minute when I got 14 reps. That was a good day. Um, I'm ready to back off on six counts, start a new cycle. Um, I'm not quite number-wise where I would like to be. I'm hoping for, I was hoping for a PR soon. Um, but they come when they come. I, if today happens to be the day, that would be great. Um, I have no way of knowing, to be honest. Uh, my chest is sore from uh, some dips and Navy SEALs yesterday. Um, but again, I just never know. So my goal is to meet the first objective, holding 12 reps a minute for 12 minutes. Um, and then I'll take it from there. If I could find a way to hold it for 16 minutes, that would be uh, one better than I've ever done before. Um, as far as holding 12 reps a minute uh, all the way through. My best is 15 minutes straight through um, and then 18 minutes total. But the two minute uh, that I took as breaks, my reps were fairly low, like six or seven reps, um, getting maximum rest and then coming back up. So let's see what today holds. If I can extend that 12 reps a minute for today, I certainly will. Otherwise, I would stick to the fan, and right at 12, I go into 11. Um, but again, I'd like to start a new cycle over, um, especially as my Navy SEALs are ramping up to the end of their cycle. I got two, maybe three more sessions left. Um, so Getting this a little rest with easier six counts would be helpful. Let's hit that go button. <coughs> My last session surprised me. As I had planned on taking it fairly easy. Hitting 13 reps a minute for the first minute, and then 11 reps all the way through. So overall, the volume would have been pretty light. Didn't work out that way. It actually worked out much, much better than anticipated. That's always good. <coughs> 20 seconds. I'm debating 13 reps for that first minute, banking in an extra rep. We'll see. We'll see how the reps go. Five seconds. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One. One, two, three, four, five. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, ten. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, 
three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, ten. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, twelve. Three, four, 
for the last one, 14 reps, but I was at it, 3 seconds, so I've been averaging about a rep every 4 seconds. <coughs> Alright, now the 
calculator. If it works. So, I got, who knows what I got. I'm going to try to figure this out live, well not live, but on camera, so I'm going to see exactly how bad I am at math. So, 39 plus. It's got to be in the light because it's a light powered calculator, unfortunately. Plus. Alright. We got. Tying my PR, <coughs> which is okay. Um, like I said, one of the problems I mentioned the test thing of <coughs> keeping track per minute is I don't actually know where I am math-wise, number-wise, throughout. <coughs> it's easy to lose track of. It's good counting overall because I only have to remember 11, 12, or 13 um, for those minutes. Uh, but overall then, I have to, during the set, I don't know where I am. Um, I just, I can't do a rep, breathe, count, <coughs> and do math all at the same time. As a matter of fact, I can't breathe, do a rep, and count at the same time. And sometimes, I can't breathe and do a rep at the same time. So, I pick my battles. I certainly pick my mathematical battle. But, I'm easily one rep shy of hitting a PR. I'll recount later. Um, but I know I got 13 and 13, and then 12 all the way up to 12 minutes, uh, and then I settled it to 11 until the end. Not bad. I'll take 236. <clears throat> and I'll either give this one more shot, or um, I'm going to back off. My plan on backing off is um, starting with 13 reps a minute, and then going back to 11, all the way through. Um, so it's going to be easier, less value. And adding a 13 each time. That gives me plenty of rest with the 11s. And I'm working on being a little bit quicker, a little more efficient. That's the thing with doing um, higher rep per minute. It's not just the matter of moving quicker. It's a matter of moving more efficiently more cleanly, um, and that saves you time. So, honestly, you know, I don't know how much faster <coughs> I can move uh, reps per minute, but I do know I can move more efficiently, and that's what's going to get me some more reps. 
one of the things that helped my numbers in the Navy SEAL go up was getting a little more efficient with that. So yesterday was pull-ups. And I did six, five, four, three, three, two. Today I think I'm gonna do chins. And it's supposed to be um, three, three, two, one. Let's do that. Some easy eight count body orders. Uh, I probably won't do squats today. Give them a bit of a break. Um, let's do some band presses and see if it helps loosen up the shoulders a bit from the hips yesterday. So it's going to be three, ten, ten ish, five presses. Say three, three, two, one. And I decided to throw in some chins just for some bicep action. Work on the guns a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, five. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, six. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, ten. Two chins. I think just one pumps. Press it. And I'm going to do this all the way through. So it's going to be two chins, ten one pumps. and point chin to finish off the whole round. Call that a day. Two reps. Seven. Eight. to finish, sorry. session. Good numbers. It's an odd feeling to walk away tying your best um, rep count. But, you know, you do what you can and you leave the session behind. You carry what you've learned. You carry the information from the session. You carry the inspiration and motivation from the session, but um, you don't carry any regrets. That's the thing. It's the funny thing. We say that. We practice that. But of course, that doesn't deny the appearance of a regret. It doesn't deny that the feeling, the emotion, the qualia, which is the suchness of an expression, the suchness of, a, um, of an experience, of a moment, the qualities that make up um, 
in philosophy they would say that qualia is the suchness that makes us experience the fragrance of a rose, the color red, the prick of a thorn. Um, all of that is the qualia of the experience itself. Um, so within that realm of experience, regret might show up. Regret might surface, or if not regret, something that we may deem to be a less than positive um, quality of experience. It's absolutely fine. Um, I say walk away from the session without any regrets, but I might be thinking, if I only had gotten that one last rep, I had about three, four seconds, and I would have been moving upwards as it went off. I probably would have counted it. Um, I count not just when the buzzer goes off, but when the buzzer's done. So if I'm moving up, especially that close, I'm counting it. But it didn't happen. That's the experience of the moment. And that feeling right now is the experience of this moment. Um, it is what it is. So in that regard, I can move away from the session and I can carry those thoughts of, I wonder if I could have, or I wonder if I should have, um, but they don't mean anything. They don't have the weight of that heavy, heavy um, feeling of regret. It's just a thought. It's just a, um, you know, at this point, it's not even a thought. It's a memory of that session. Um, and I let it go. If it comes back, it comes back. Um, that's where the practice of meditation helps us um, sort of become the witness of the situation. But by witness, um, that term actually implies a certain sense of separation from the experience itself. And that separation actually isn't there at all. Um, so yes, we are a witness in a certain sense, but more than that, we are participants in the moment. Um, I can have a witness state of consciousness, but the actual experience itself is always, always a participant. I am participating with everything that comes up within that moment. Um, so that's the great thing about it. not just burpees, but everything we do. It's the great thing about being alive, um, that we're participating with the universe. Not just us, everything. Everything coming together and forming this collision of experiences, collision of events, collision of qualias. Um, really, when we think about it, it's a magical universe, a magical world. Um, sorry, chalk. Um, where everything's just happening mysteriously, spontaneously. And that includes us. That includes the appearance of a self, the appearance of personality, um, the appearance of others. Everything just arising and participating and co coordinating. Um, uh, it's pretty remarkable. Science-wise, spirituality-wise, life-wise, reality-wise, it's all the same thing, just different terms for the same thing. Um, all right, guys, so that's just a little talk on participating, on feelings, on qualia, on um, experiences, the observer, and we'll leave it at that for the day. Um, all right, it's Sunday, we got to, or nope, it's Saturday. I've been behind uh, all week. So we got one more day to the weekend. I'm looking forward to seeing what everyone does. Uh, looking at your routines, looking at your reps. Um, and um, I did want to mention, I haven't seen uh, Perpy Maddie for a while. Uh, I haven't seen um, Nick Hardy for a while. And um, Nick Hardy for longer, of course, than Maddie. Maddie, it's been about a week or so. I know the last time he posted, he wasn't feeling too well. Um, I think he said food poisoning. So I hope he's feeling better. Um, I hope he's concocting some new mad burpee scientist routines. Uh, I hope Nick Hardy's doing okay. I hope he pops up uh, and says hi. Uh, even better, I hope he pops up and does some burpees with us. <coughs> um, and that's it. All right, so take care, guys. Bye.